Public speaking is something many people will need to do at least occasionally in their lives, whether it is a one-sentence comment or a longer speech. Yet for many, there are roadblocks that can make it very difficult, even terrifying, to speak in front of a large audience. This series will present some useful, bite-sized tips that anyone can use to improve your public speaking, wherever that may be. It is hoped that it will help you gain confidence and improve your overall experience. Microphones have become ubiquitous in our lives, so much so that we hardly notice them anymore. They are in our phones, our personal assistant devices, even our TVs. But when faced with a proper microphone on a stage or in a studio, many people may not know how to approach their use. Have you ever listened to someone speaking into a microphone only to have it sound like artillery fire? Quite often, when someone is tasked with approaching a microphone, they tend to speak too close to the microphone, resulting in every P and B becoming a loud pop, and their voice an eardrum torturing blast. The main cause of this is inexperience. You really do not need to be too close to the microphone. They're designed to pick up sound and are usually quite good at it. The pops happen because forming those sounds with the lips tends to cause a sudden rush of air from the mouth. And if you're too close to the microphone, it will result in the loud pops when that air hits the mic itself. This effect can be lessened with the use of a pop shield, a piece of fabric that sits between the mic and your mouth or as a covering over the mic grill. But not all mics have one. To reduce the popping effect, try to talk toward the mic, but not directly into it. Picture the sound passing just over the top of the mic. The sound gets picked up, and the air puff passes harmlessly past the mic. That other problem we mentioned is distortion. When you speak too close to the mic, the sound is too loud for the mic to properly handle, resulting in a largely unintelligible cacophony. Allow yourself some distance, at least six inches, from the microphone. If your voice isn't as loud as it should be, a sound technician should be able to adjust the volume on the speakers to compensate. Refer back to our previous episode on projection to improve the volume and projection of your voice into the mic. Comfortable distancing from the mic will also help with controlling the pops we discussed a moment ago. Next episode, we'll continue our look at microphones, specifically, how to handle them. Hope you found today's public speaking tip useful and inspiring. The best way to make use of this tip, and to get better at public speaking, of course, is to just do it. Practice, practice, and practice.